Welcome to Lightspeed. My name is Johnny, and today I'm going to present to you the main improvements and new features of version 4 of the Lightspeed EPOS compared to versions 2 and 3. The main screen of the EPOS has been completely redesigned in order to offer better flexibility and experience to our customers. The register screen, which is the most important interface of the system, has been modified and new options are available. The main changes I will show you are the design and layout of some screens, some new features, and at the end of this video, I'll explain how to migrate to the latest version of the system, which we'll also refer to as version 4. The main screen of the POS has been redesigned. Even if it keeps the basics of the old versions, some details are different to make it easier and faster to use. The main functions sit out at the bottom of the screen for quick access, register, main page to take orders, tables, you can access the floor plan, orders, you can see the orders in progress, both table service, pickup and delivery, customers, you can select or create a customer, receipts, view and take action on your receipts, and settings. You can open a list of different settings and features here. Some action buttons on the order taking screen have also changed their location. The default tag and the actions button are where you can access account profiles and discounts that apply to the order total. The assign a customer is simply the button to quickly link a customer to this transaction. This can also be done from the customers button at the bottom of the screen. The button to scan QR codes is now at the top right hand corner. The search for an item is done via the magnifying glass button right next to the scanner button. To log out as a user, you just have to click on the button at the top left of the screen. To take actions on a particular item, simply click on the pencil icon right next to it. The status buttons have also been moved. New icons can be found at the bottom right by clicking on the four dots. Wi-Fi connection, green means connected to the network, but not necessarily to the internet. Red means no Wi-Fi connection. Reconfiguration, blue means no reconfiguration needed. If it's orange, then a reconfiguration is needed because changes have been made in the back office. The printer is the link to the printing center. Online order, if it's green, it is enabled. If it is red, it is disabled. The settings list remains the same, but with a new design and an additional option to change the screen layout to left-handed with access to the help center. And finally, new colors for the buttons of the screens and items are also available. The latest version of the app also comes with new features to enhance your experience and to help you scale and run your restaurant more efficiently. The main new features include organize orders by course and or by seats, which accommodates all the different ways you can take orders depending on your needs. Here is an example of an order taken by dishes and seats. You might have already noticed that the commit button has moved and it's now called send items. So did the pay that moved to the bottom right of the screen. The edit order button allows you to have more global view of the order and do grouped actions like transfer, apply a discount or delete a selection of items very quickly. The split bill button allows you to split the bill much more easily according to the customer's needs. Whether it is by item, amount or seat, the new option is faster and easier to navigate than the older versions. The order screen is now separated into two tabs for better readability table orders on one side and takeout orders and delivery orders on the other. Moreover, it is now possible to order and filter the columns as well. Regarding kitchen receipts, this version allows you to choose the size of all fonts on your production dockets. Lightspeed payments is integrated with the new version, which allows you to eliminate error while taking credit and debit card payments and to save time while cashing up. Migrating to the latest version is simple. You just follow these steps. One, make sure all your tables and accounts are closed on your current version. The migration won't be successful if you have any open accounts. Close all of your user sessions by closing the shift for all currently logged in users. Now, go to the App Store and download the application Lightspeed Restaurant Pause brackets K. Launch the application, press Start Migration button. Once these steps are done, the migration is complete and your iCan2 version 2 or version 3 app will no longer be active as you can see. 
If a council sessions are still open during the migration, then a message will appear to warn you and the migration will only be done once these accounts and sessions are closed. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to get in touch. Our support team is available to guide you through these steps. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Goodbye.